Number 98. What capacitance do you need to produce a resonant frequency of 1 gigahertz when using an 8 nanohenry inductor? All right, so since we're talking about resonant frequency, let's write out the formula. That's equal to 1 divided by 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the inductance multiplied by the capacitance. Since I have to find now the capacitance, right, I'm going to take this whole term and divide it, well, it's technically cross multiply it, I guess, uh, into the numerator there, and then I got to bring the resonant frequency on out, okay, and into the denominator. Then I got to get rid of the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. So then we have L times C would be equal to now 1 divided by 2 pi times that resonant frequency. This whole thing is then squared. Uh, if I want to find the capacitance, then I got to divide out the inductance, and there we go. Right? There's our formula now. So all we simply have to do is now plug in some of the numbers. So this is going to be 1 divided by 2 pi, multiplied now by that resonant frequency of 1 gigahertz. What's giga? It's 10 to the 9th. So that's going to be 1 times 10 to the 9th. Square that whole thing in the numerator, then divide it by the inductance, right? And that's 8 nanohenries, but we need that in henry, so times that by 10 to the minus 9th. And let's plug it in. So it's going to be 1 divided by then parenthesis 2 pi times 1 times 10 to the 9th. Square that whole thing and then divide it by now 8 times 10 to the minus 9th. And we get a value here for about that the capacitance here is going to be in picofarad, basically 3, you know, 3 3.17 picofarads, but I'm going to leave it in terms of just farads. Right? But you can always do your conversions. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope that helped. Help us out if you can by subscribing and liking, and I will see you in the next problem. Take care.